back to focusing on stocks then. Wellspun Enterprises, that's in focus. Remember, the company received a letter of agreement or an LOA from uh, NHAI for a project in Tamil Nadu. The project is estimated to cost around 2,000 crore rupees. We have with us Mr. Sandeep Garg, the MD and CEO of the company who joins us to take this discussion forward. Hi, Mr. Garg. Thanks so much, sir, for joining in. Give us some details on this. What's your share in this uh, particular project? Um, what's the funding you require? Uh, thanks, Nigel. Um, the order is, uh, as you said, it's in Tamil Nadu. It's mm -hmm. a 2,000 crore rupee project. Yeah. And it is, uh, we have uh, on the SPV level 76%, 24% is with another company with, with whom we are associated for this project. Uh, for this project, the whole EPC will be done by Wellspun Enterprises. Uh, so that's the part of the agreement. And uh, we expect the EPC to be about uh, 1,800 crores. Okay. Uh, so this this particular project will need an equity uh, investment of about two, 240 crores. Uh, so in terms of its uh, uh, you know significance, it's a large contract for us, and it brings into us to into a, a different league. And it is also um, very significant in uh, in the manner that it is a project which uh, which is coastal and is also a very important one to complete a particular section of the road. So we are very happy to receive this or uh, letter of award and um, look forward to many more such awards in going for forward. Okay, 1800 crore is the revenue which should accre accrue to Wellspan Enterprises, right? Since you're executing the EPC portion. That is correct. Rima. Okay, what's the uh, timeline? How much of it will come through in F519? How much in F520 and thereafter? Rima, the, the, on a hybrid annuity project, we will need about uh, six months to complete the uh, preconditions that are required. We will have to do the. Uh, financial closure so the revenue should start in the uh, q4 of the current year mm -hmm. and uh, then it is a 24 month schedule uh, contract so we would uh, we we expect uh, this 1800 crore to be coming in in, in the next uh, 24 months uh, from the q4 of this year okay and the expected return or irr internal rate of return See, we n normally uh, bid, uh, as I have uh, said always, we bid for an internal uh, rate of return in the mid-teens. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this project is also meeting those uh, internal rate requirements. Mm -hmm. However, on the EPC contract uh, um, uh, that we do as an execution, our uh, uh, returns are in the ranges of 12, 12 to 15% at the site level. Okay, what's your current order book, sir, if you could uh, tell us that? And also, what was the inflow in F418, and how much are you expecting in F519? Uh, the uh, current uh, order book stands at uh, 7,000 crores plus on the as a portfolio of uh, the uh, HAM projects. Mm -hmm. uh, the un uh, unexecuted uh, order book for the EPC Mm -hmm. uh, for uh, for the current year, uh, with this order, stands at about 6,000 crores. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, orders that uh, have come through uh, for us in the uh, last year um, uh, were in the ranges of about 4,000 crores. And uh, this year, this is the first order that we have received. Okay. Now, we expect uh, in the current year, because the HAM projects have still not been, um, you know, the bid out, bids are still not out, we expect mm -hmm. the bids, bidding to start now. Mm -hmm. And we expect that we will be building an order book of additional at least five to 7,000 crores on road HAM projects going forward. Uh, also, as we speak, we are uh, we have started to work on the water segment, which is uh, which we expect to start um, gaining momentum going forward, and should start contributing to our order book and revenues going forward from the next year. Okay, uh, have you received financial closure for any of your ham projects recently, and how was your cost of borrowing trending? Uh, we we uh, have closed all our uh, hybrid entity projects. We have six hybrid entity projects as of now. 
five of them have financially closed. Our uh, cost of borrowing has been in the ranges of 9.25% to 9.65%. And we expect uh, the current order also to be financially closed in the next four months or four to five months. Mm -hmm. And we expect the cost to be in the ranges of 9.75%. All right, Mr. Garg, you're sounding quite positive. Uh, and if I just take a look at the shareholding pattern, well, in the last quarter, I think the promoters have bought more than a percent from the open market. Is that correct? That is correct. All right, so what's the current stake of the promoters? Uh, and uh, do they intend to buy more from the open market? I think uh, I, I am not too very sure of the promoter's uh, net that. holding, but mm -hmm. it is in the ranges of 42%. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, exact number I can, I am just trying to pull out. Okay. And uh, it is 46.7 or 46.8%. All think. right. So they so so they have bought around 2% from the open market then in the yeah. last quarter. Yeah. Because yeah. we have numbers only till March 2018. Are they looking to go? The entire five percent in this fiscal year? I I I would okay. obviously not know. It will be a question for the promoters to ask. So. Right. Absolutely. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks. A Thanks so much, uh, Mr. Gar, for joining in and giving us those details. Well, we'll.